Hi, my name is Christy Leader, and I am a second grade demonstration teacher at Fairfax Elementary School. Today I'm going to show you how to assign Savas math resources in Google Classroom. So you can see here I am logged into Clever. Your students will also need to be logged into Clever to be able to access the math content. I'm going to scroll down here and click on Savas Easy Bridge. That is going to successfully open, and I'm going to go over here and click Savas Realize. And this is going to take me to my home page. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is click your person icon, go to settings, and make sure your Google Classroom is connected. So I'm going to scroll down here on my account page to account linking. My Google Classroom is already linked, but you will have a button here that says get started. You'll click that. You will then click allow, and you will connect this year's Google Classroom to your math. Once that's all finished, you're going to go back up here to Browse. You're going to click your Envision 2.0 Common Core Grade 2, if you're a second grade teacher. And it's going to give you a list of your topics. I am currently on Topic 1. And today I'm going to show you the resources that I like to assign for Lesson 1-1. So once you've clicked on your lesson, you can see here that there are checkboxes available for you to choose any of these resources to assign to your students. I have a few favorite resources. I love the visual learning video. There's an additional video at the bottom called Another Look. There is a game that you can assign to your students as a may-do for when they're finished with their work. And I also really like this quick check. So this is a five question quick assessment that you can give to your kids when you're finished with the 1-1 lesson to see who got it and who didn't. So I'm going to scroll back here to the top and I'm going to click assign selected four. So I'm going to assign the four resources that I just selected. Let's say I would like my kids to do them on Wednesday and turn them in on Thursday. I'm going to click here in my uh, enter class box and I'm going to click EL and oops, I mean MR. This is leader. That's my Google Classroom. And I'm going to click assign. Okay, so what's cool about this is now you can go back to your Google Classroom, click refresh because it takes a second for it to push through. And that assignment that I just assigned from Savis will be saved as a draft on my classwork page in Google Classroom. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click edit. Okay, so over here you can change um, the point value, when it's due, um, all that good stuff over here. This is also where you're going to type your instructions. I highly recommend including in your instructions that your students need to be logged into Clever. Also, I recommend adding the Clever link so that your students have a direct link to go to when they need to log into Clever. Okay. Once your students have, done, have logged into Clever, they can click this link and it will take them directly to the Savas page where their assignments are listed. They will complete their assignments on the Savas page and then come back to Google Classroom to click Turn In. You will then need to go to the Savas page to check their assignments. So once your students are finished with their assignments and they've clicked Turn In, you can come to the Savas page and check the status of your students and how much work they've completed. It'll be right here on a list. Okay. Okay. Well, that pretty much does it. So uh, once you've checked your kids' work on Savas, you can come back to Google Classroom and you can go to the grade section and return their work. My name is Christy Leader again, and I work at Fairfax. You can email me anytime to set up an appointment if you would like any support with linking curriculum to Google Classroom. Have a good day. Thank you.